Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to Marketing Your Home Care Business in November and December 2015. We are going to talk about this uh, just like we did last month. We talked about all of the different things you could do for the month of October. So uh, a lot of these strategies you can use any time of the year, but we are going to talk about them with regards to the months of November and December today. And these are all using O2O methods, which is your offline to online marketing strategy. In other words, everything you do offline should also be shared online so you can get uh, the message out there to a bigger audience. My name is Valerie Van Boeven. I'm a registered nurse and the co-owner of LTC Expert Publications. George Novison, uh, my business partner and the other co-owner of LTC Expert Publications is on the line. Hi, George. Hi, Valerie. Hi, everyone. All right. So we are going to go ahead and get started here. So. Uh, I always put a couple of slides up, just some housekeeping stuff. Your lines are muted, so we cannot hear you, but you can hear us. And at the end, I will take questions. So if you'd like to type them into the questions pane or the questions little dashboard thing that you have there, that's fine. And if you uh, want the handout that's present in your little dashboard, you can also download that. So how to increase your viewing pleasure, turn everything off, silence your phone, close your doors, give yourself some time to learn some new strategies, focus on what we're talking about here, and stick around to the end. We always have something cool that you can take away with you, and today that's the in the handouts. So you're welcome to download that marketing. It says LTCEP marketing map PDF. You're welcome to download that today. My goal for you is to walk away from this webinar with motivation and new ideas that will help you grow your home care business. We do these webinars every month, sometimes more than once a month. You reach out to us with questions. We'll help you any way we can. Um, but we, we want you to walk away from these free webinars with ideas that you can implement yourself. And of course, if you need help, you can reach out to us. And we will certainly help you with anything you need. So O2O marketing, I talk about that a lot, and I just mentioned this at the top of the program, that O2O marketing is offline to online marketing. You have to make sure that everything you do, every in-person networking event, everything you sponsor, everything you attend, also media, your blog, your website, all the things that you do online. If you do, if you play your cards right, You'll get much, many more leads, many more referrals, many more inquiries, prospects, looking for information and solutions to their problem. But you have to make sure that you're engaging with people online. And the easiest way to do that is to remember that everything you do offline, meaning in person, um, should also be translated to a, an article, a memo, a, a blip, a picture, something online to let people know how much you really care about this community that you service and that you're out there helping seniors. So we're going to talk about this in, in, in according to five phases. And we've discussed this before, but I think this is really important. People are um, having a hard time you know, planning ahead for some of this stuff. So that's why we're doing November and December marketing now. It's actually the end of October, um, but we want to make sure that you have some ideas for marketing for the last two months of the year. So first you have your planning phase, then your pre-marketing phase, your live marketing phase, post-marketing phase, and your automated follow-up phase. I'm going to talk about all of those. First of all, in your planning phase, this is what's happening in your business life in the next 30 to 60 days. So what I want you to do is think about all the events that you plan on attending. If you haven't planned on attending any, get them in your calendar. Look around at all of the community outreach efforts that you could be participating in in the next 30 to 60 days. I'm sure there are a lot. We are right on top of the holidays, so there should be plenty of stuff for you to participate in. Um, get those down on a calendar that you can look at, um, whether it's on an online calendar or a paper calendar. You want to be able to put it in front of you and say, OK, here are all the things that we're going to be involved in in the next 30 to 60 days. And then the best way to start engaging with your community is to write up a paragraph or two about each community event and marketing event that you're going to be participating in in the next 30 to 60 days 
and get that information on your blog, on your website, on your Facebook, on your LinkedIn, and all of those other places that matter to you online. You need to make sure that you're not just showing up in an event, but you're announcing that you're going to be in an event. Invite other people if it's a public event. Make sure that everyone knows that you are out there reaching out to your community. So you want to write up one to two paragraphs about each community event that you're participating in. In that marketing phase, while you're there, while you're actually at the event or at the senior fair or at the holiday celebration, whatever it is, take notes mentally or, or on paper, whatever you need to do, take a few pictures, write down what happens at the event you attend, ask questions, talk to the other people that are there, ask them why they came, were they here last year, you know, get some ideas and then write that information down. You need to have a, a few notes and in the post-marketing phase, after the event, you're going to write up one to two paragraphs or thoughts about each event and post that to your blog, your Facebook page, your e-newsletter, all those different places. So before the event, you want to write something up, and after the event, you want to write something up. And include pictures. Everybody loves pictures. So if you want more engagement, you want more referrals, you want more leads, you want more community outreach through social media and through your website, then you need to be writing these things down and actually engaging with people online. And then number five in our phase is um, in our phases is to automate your follow-up. So those e-newsletters that you should have ready to roll need to go out uh, in the month of November and in the month of December. They should go out and they should include all of the things that either are coming up in your business life or that have already passed that you already attended. So make sure you do have an e-newsletter and make sure that it goes out. If you have an e-newsletter, it will increase your revenue over the course of a year. When people uh, receive an e-newsletter, they don't consider it spam if they're in the middle of an elder care crisis. So that person who's been receiving your newsletter for the last six months may have uh, deleted it every single time. But this month might be the month when mom has a stroke or falls and breaks her hip. And that newsletter becomes extremely important to that person. And suddenly they open it, they read it, and they know that you're the one they want to call. So you need to make sure that you have an automated e-newsletter. <clears throat> so here are some of the month-long observances for the month of November. Now, if you don't have anything written down in your calendar, any local events, here are some things that you might consider using as marketing tools for the month of November with your prospects and referral sources. So if you are out there calling on um, you know, whether it be a rehab facility or a doctor's office or a skilled nursing facility or a hospital, here are some of the things that they are going to be celebrating in the month of November and that you can also work up a little something fun to celebrate. American Diabetes Month is in the month of November. COPD Awareness Month, Diabetic Eye Disease Month, Lung Cancer Awareness, and of course National Alzheimer's Disease Awareness Month. That's a big one for all of us and National Family Caregivers Month is in November. All of these things are really big, and I have also some recognition days and events, or days that are in a week there that's being celebrated. So you can take these and come up with something fun or interesting for any one of them, and make sure that when you're calling on folks, that you do something fun for American Diabetes Month. Maybe you're giving out sugar-free candy, or maybe you're giving out um, something where they can calculate their carbs, or whatever it is. Um, these are all things that you can do something fun and cute with and you can you know, drop off or, or leave behind something fun for the other professionals in your life. Now these um, events in November um, include some, one, some that are fun, they're not all health care related. So Adopt a Senior Pet Month, Adopt a Turkey Month, you know, a lot of these are Banana Pudding Lovers Month. Some of these are really fun and they have nothing to do with healthcare, but they might give you a few ideas on ways that you can market to your community um, and just put a little fun into that marketing. If, um, if you enjoy, uh, let's see, it's Peanut Butter Lovers Month. There might be something you can do that involves peanut butter that you could leave behind or um, <clears throat> I don't know, there's all kinds of things. A a National Long-Term Care Awareness Month is a good one, National Home Care and Hospice Month. Uh, vegan month, there's all kinds of things you can do. So think about all of the different things that you can uh, market with and market to for the month of November. 
Thanksgiving is obvious, but there are a lot of other fun things too. So for the month of December, the month-long observances get a little bit shorter because we have a lot of big holidays, um, but you can look at all this stuff on this list and think about the ways that you can um, really help and, and uh, celebrate some of the, of the observances in December. So there are some month-long and some week-long observances listed here. And I will put this um, <clears throat> PowerPoint presentation on SlideShare so that if you want to see these slides, you'll be able to see them and see all the different observances. We have a couple of different websites that we get all of our observances from. You can actually Google this kind of stuff and find as many fun observances as you want. So um, here are the daily, in fact, this is one of my favorite ones. These are the daily observances. So if you're looking for something new to say or do that's not the same thing as everybody else, just remember that December 7th is National Cotton Candy Day or Clean Air Day is on the 17th, um, Crossword Puzzle Day is on the 21st, uh, National Humbug Day is on the 21st. I mean, there are some fun things you could do. So uh, take down all of these and, and we get the slide share and then you can think about a few things that you want to celebrate. Here's the last page we have. These are uh, National Thank You Note Day. Uh -huh, that makes sense. And Bacon Day is the 30th. So, you know, that's a good one. Okay, so what I want you to do is for all of these observances that we just talked about, and again, you can get these slides off of our website when I send the um, replay out. You can pick five of these, just five. They don't have to be anything too complicated. For the next two months, pick five fun things to celebrate and prepare a very simple leave behind item. It might be a small food item or a small craft item that you and the kids do, something interesting and fun that you can leave behind for all those professionals that celebrate certain days. Um, and they will appreciate it. Leave a note. Attach your business card, attach a cute note, and just let people know that you're thinking about them. So look at your calendar and pick five days. <clears throat> Write down your visit dates and note the events and fun. Take pictures of everything you do. Get email addresses and names as you go around and drop stuff off. Um, get email addresses and names any kind, anytime you can. Write up some fun blurbs about your visits. Maybe include photos of the places that you went and drop some fun things off. Maybe you're donating to a nursing home. Um, whatever it is, write up some fun stuff about your visits and include photos and post them to your blog. Make sure that they go up as articles with pictures. They go out to your blog, then they go out to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Make sure they hit your social media. If you did five things over the next 60 days that were fun or you're involved in an event and you blog posted about them, you would be able to be unforgettable and people would almost expect to see you every single month with something fun. So if you want to start getting those referral sources interested in you, one way is to just take charge of all the days that are in a certain month, look at them. So. Repeat this all the time. November and December aren't the only months. Obviously, there's every month of the year has all kinds of fun things that you can celebrate. You can do anything, but not everything. That's one of my favorite little woman quotes. And uh, this is the home care lead referral map. So what we're trying to tell you here is that this is the map that we follow when it comes to marketing home care businesses, when it comes to getting out there and getting the word out about all of the cool things that you all are involved in, all that community outreach, all those internal celebrations. This is the way we market it when we do it online for you. So we're getting everything out from your content to your website to your social media. We're putting content on other websites that lead back to your own website. And all of this results in more leads, more referrals, and more visibility in your local community. So I'm just going to give you a summary of some of the must-have things that you need for a great lead generation website. You can see on the picture on the left, my website's in the middle, and all the things that we do, whether it's outside networking or internal celebrations 
or writing content, everything. The website is the hub for everything now. That's how you should look at your marketing tools. Your website is the hub for all your communication to your local market. So what everything you do should come back to your website and go out from there. So you need to have your website uh, search engine optimized by town and city. You need to have continuous original local content. And that's what I was just talking to you about. Go out and celebrate fun little holidays during the month and write them up and put them on your website. You need to have off-site publishing, which means that you not only need to be the author of articles on your own website, but you should be author an author of articles on other websites. You need to have a blog with an RSS feed, really simple syndication. You need to have local social media. You need to have an e-newsletter. We talked about that. And of course, you need to have reputation management, which means test all of your social media to show how trustworthy and how honest and how reputable your company is. <clears throat> so where does all of this content come from? Now, I've given you tons and tons of ideas, but here are some of the other ways that the folks that we work with in the home care industry get their content. They get it from in-person networking. They interview potential referral sources. They're at community events. They have internal office celebrations that they talk about on their blog. They have unique elder care articles posted to their website every week, and that's one of the jobs that we have at LTC Expert Publications. They uh, honor health care celebrations and talk about those. Uh, of course, many, many holidays throughout the year. They have their testimonials and reviews come in through their website. They share their personal stories and experiences and their opinions and thoughts. So there's all kinds of different ways to get content. So what type of content really counts in the eyes of Google? Your article should be 400, 500 words that are unique and not located on any other website. So copying content from other websites is never a good idea for so many reasons. Videos are always good if you have that kind of equipment. Um, photos, but you have to include some text with a photo and make sure you explain who's in the photo and answer the questions who, what, why, when, how, and where. White papers, free reports, podcasts, and audio, and PDFs. So like the PDF that I put in the handout section, that's an excellent thing for you to put on your website, but you have to have text written with it. You can't just post the PDF and walk away. You have to make sure you explain in text what that PDF is all about because Google cannot index a photo or a PDF or it doesn't read the text behind it. It's all gobbledygook. So you want to make sure that you have, uh, if you have PDFs and pictures on your website as blog posts, that you also include text. And if you need help, with content, and so many of you do, and I know that it's hard to come up with all these ideas and, and take care of all these things you need to do on top of marketing and, and everything else. We do it all at LTC Expert Publications. If you need a website, we can develop a website for you. We do that all the time. Um, if you don't need a website, that's okay too. Maybe you need search engine optimization of your core pages of your website, or maybe you need weekly content in the form of unique blog posts that are posted to your website for you. Um, we have about 800 to 900 unique articles written for our clients every single month. So if you need weekly content on your blog, we're happy to do that. And your content is never the same as anybody else's content, and it's also search engine optimized for your local area, which is so important. If you need off-site article publishing, meaning you need to be an author of articles on other we also set up and, and maintain all of the, our clients' monthly e-newsletters, and we have them go out automatically. We set up and maintain social media or work with what our clients have. Um, we help with testimonials and reviews. We have a private client marketing site that all of our clients have access to for marketing ideas. And of course, you have a free membership to Home Care Revenue Builders when you become our client. So if you need help with any of these things, maybe it's just weekly content, maybe it's social media, uh, give us a call <clears throat> and let us know what we can help you with. The number to call to talk to George or myself is 888-404-1513, 888-404-1513. You can call us. 
Um, you can just email George directly at george at ltcep.com or you can email me at valerie at ltcep.com. <clears throat> and one of the things that we've been doing lately that people really, really like is having a special offer on our pricing. So just so you know, um, usually when people sign up with us, if they do not need a website um, in the past, we've always charged a $995 setup fee just to walk in the door and have us set up everything for you. Um, but we decided to waive that. As long as you're willing to make a one-year commitment to us and you do not need a website, in other words, we're using your website that you already have, um, the cost is $495 per month for our services. That includes every single thing you see that we just talked about except that you did not need a website built. Um, and then if you do need a website built, which we find a lot of folks coming to us do need a website, they have an older one, it's not optimized, um, what we used to do is charge about $3,000, $2,800 or something like that for a full website build, um, but we decided to waive that fee as long as you're willing to make a one-year commitment to us. And if you do need a website, that uh, commitment is $795 a month for one year. After one year, that fee goes down to $600 per month. Um, we're happy to say that our clients do stay with us for a really long time. They really like our services and they do see results. So if you are in the market for more content or you need help with something, let us know and uh, we can help you with either of those. We'll waive the setup fee and you can be in our doors for $495 a month or if you need a website you to do is call us or email George 888-404-1513 uh, or email George at ltcep.com and he'll get you moving and get you anything that you need. And with that, if you have any questions about November and December marketing or any questions about um, search engine optimization, your website, social media, how to get more leads, uh, from all of that, you're welcome to type them into the questions pane and I will happily answer them. Okay, so we answered the question, why November and December? Um, and then uh, someone said they're having trouble getting the handout. I will uh, go ahead and email a link to the handout when I send out the replay so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, someone asked the question, do you need a photo release signed by everyone when you take pics at events? Um, if you're taking a general photo of the crowd or of the building or or whatever, you definitely do not need a photo release from every single person that's in the photo. However, if you're taking a person, picture of an individual human being who's maybe signing up for something or maybe they're the winner of your prize that you're your hand air like your giveaway or whatever you're doing um, then you definitely want them to have you want to have a little photo release on hand for them to sign because um, you're going to identify who they are uh, by name probably in that photo release or in that uh, picture for online so it just depends on the situation picture of the front of the building no photo release but if it's in a general crowd no you're not identifying people by name but certainly, if you are going to identify people, you might want to ask them for that. And you can find those online. You can ask your lawyer. Um, we don't provide those, but you're certainly, you can, they're pretty easy to find. Um, let's see. What is the annual fee for no website? Well, if you do not need a website, uh, it's a one-year commitment of $795 per month. If you want to pay that in one lump sum, then you need to email George at ltcep.com and he can tell you what the one lump sum fee would be for an entire year and um, he can he can work that out with you. Um, let's see, does the $4.95 per month include posting on social media too? Joanne, yes, we post everything that we post, whether you sent it to us as company news, as your community outreach stuff, or we wrote it for you, which we do every week for our clients regardless, we always post every week. A unique content it all goes out to your social media so yes um, we have 13 branches but one website is the cost 495 for our entire company Kathy 
Kathy, if it, it depends on the conversation that we're going to have. If we're posting one time per week for 13 branches, that doesn't seem like quite enough because I'm sure you carry, uh, cover probably a pretty large territory. Um, but if you, um, but yes, if we have one website to blog post on one time per week and we do all the social media and all that, it's $4.95 uh, per month. But if you, you might want to consider a couple extra blog posts per month. And it doesn't mean that the, the fee triples. It just means that we charge a little extra for more blog posting. So something you definitely want to talk to George about. Um, and he can say, you know, talk to you and find out where your 13 branches are located, how big of an area you service, and um, what that might look like. So I always recommend a conversation with George. We have dealt with um, everything from large franchises to small franchises to all the independent home care agencies. Um, and you know, just there's a whole array of folks that have different needs. Have, some have branches, some have just huge territories that they cover. So we're happy to help in any way we can and adjust our pricing to help you. Can I have a copy of this webinar? I want to share it with my business partner. Thanks. Uh, Peg, I'm going to post the video and the slides on our website, and when I send out the replay of this, you will be able to see both. Um, is the Revenue Builder's monthly cost included in your 495 monthly cost if you have a website? Okay, so Denise, if you are um, paying or 795 either way, Yes, you get into Home Care Revenue Builders for free, and that fee is, uh, if you were paying for that by itself, it would be $100 a month or $97 a month. Home Care Revenue Builders is a program that we put together with Hurricane Marketing, and you can see it at homecarerevenuebuilders.com. Um, but for all of our clients who are in our SEO program, either the 495 or the 795, either way, um, we have we do put you into Home Care Revenue Builders for free. We don't charge for that. So you get all of Steve the Hurricane's uh, stuff, his information, private webinars every month for that for that group, and a Facebook private marketing um, Facebook private marketing group. And also um, you get all of our stuff as well. So you get to see all of our videos private ones we do just for that group, and of course we're on that private marketing site, that private marketing Facebook group. So it's a really good deal, um, and it's a really nice thing to get involved with. So Home Care Revenue Builders is free when you're our client, and it's free if you are Steve's client. So if you have any questions, if you need that content, if you need some help with marketing, and um, you want to get in the door with us, uh, we waive all those setup fees. It's $4.95 a month if you already have a website. $7.95 a month if you do need a website built in a situation or setup. Does anybody else have any other questions that I can answer for you? I think that might be it, but if you have another question, we'll just say last call. <clears throat> and what I'll do is after this is over, the video has to render, then we will send it out to everybody, the replay, along with the slide share and also the PDF that's attached, which is our, our marketing map that shows you exactly what you need to do to get those leads and referrals coming in using your online marketing. So with having said that, I think that was our last question. George, did I miss anything? Is there anything you want to add, or are we going to call it an afternoon? I think that's, that's complete, and uh, welcome to talk with anybody who has a very special situation or you know is out of the norm and, and wants to know how this applies to them. Sure, absolutely. So give George a call and uh, or give him send him an email, and we will um, gladly discuss the situation with you. Good luck with your marketing for November and December. Um, we'll probably do one more free webinar this year, and that will uh, call it for the rest of the year because I know everybody's going to be busy. So thanks everybody. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.